I would now like to introduce very much to you, to you Agnieszka Dowolowska. She is a conservation architect and she was the project leader of the project and the technical manager of the whole conservation effort and the writer of the technical <laughs> Good evening everybody, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen and friends. I am very happy to be standing here in front of you summarizing this fascinating project that I had privilege to lead. The story of Sabin Kutab of Sultan Mustafa is intriguing. It combines traditions of three great cities, Cairo, Istanbul and Amsterdam. And the same can be said about the conservation project. We work hand in hand, uh, Egyptian conservators with the European specialists. I was very happy to lead the project, and among the interesting uh, involvement of the different cultures, it was also fun. Uh, the, the project of publication was also very good, and I'm standing here alone, but we co authored this book with my husband, Jarek. Here he is. <laughs> And I would like to take this opportunity to thank. Uh, I would like to express my gratitude to the Netherlands Embassy in Cairo for the generous funding for conservation which is necessary because without funding you cannot make any progress. But also to the Netherlands Flemish Institute as an institution, but also as a group of people who supported me and helped me throughout the project and beyond. Thank you. To the American University in Cairo Press for publishing this building, uh, this, this book. <laughs> but I am here, but without my team uh, of conservators and craftsmen, conservation would not be possible. I would like them to step out and show yourselves. Who are you? And this is my great thank you for working with me on this fascinating project. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kim and Agnieszka. Now I'd like to introduce Her Excellency Mrs. Susan Blankhart, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of the Netherlands in Egypt. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today we celebrate and we really celebrate the finalization of the conservation of the Sabir Kutab of Sultan Musaha Fur as well as the publication of the beautiful book about this appeal. Dr. Dijkstra has just told you about the building itself, and I would like to tell you why the Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands was involved in this project. The heritage of both Egypt and the Netherlands can be found in this building, the, the adjacent building, that is. Inside the Ottoman Baroque building, the ground floor room, is decorated with more than 2,000 so-called delft blue tiles. And these tiles offer the visitor numerous small landscapes and scenes of daily life as it was in the Netherlands in the 18th century. As far as we know, the Sabine is the only monument in Egypt that has a visible relation with the Netherlands, making it for us a unique monument of mutual heritage. The Embassy of the Kingdom of the Netherlands has a cultural development program aimed at strengthening the cultural identity of a country and promoting intercultural cooperation and dialogue. The funding of the conservation project of the Sabir Kutab of Sultan Mustafa III falls in both categories. The actual conservation of the Sabil will contribute to the Sanida Vena area. We hope it will bring more tourism and therefore income to the building, but also to the neighborhood. The rejuvenated building will raise the awareness of the local population of their own cultural heritage. A training and research component was added to the project. Around 20 Dutch and Egyptian students uh, were involved. They had training as well as opportunity for intercultural inter cooperation and dialogue. This is also true for the building as a whole. Monuments make a shared past visible and thus strengthen 
culture of Taoists. The Sabiu Kuta has stood firmly in the heart of the Sayyidah Zainab area for 250 years, not only a witness to the changing of the times, but also always an active part of that history. It provided water to the neighborhood, was a school for its children, and a home to one of its charity organizations. The Sabiu can be seen as an Egyptian building with a Dutch heart. The Sabiu was not built by a cooperation between Dutch and Egyptian architects or workers. And we will probably never know why the Dutch tiles were brought from Istanbul to Cairo. So, I don't know the clue in the book. <laughs> it is there. <laughs> I haven't read the book yet, I don't see it. <laughs> the clue is there. Still, the Sabiu can be seen as a symbol of law and warm relations between Egypt and the Netherlands. From hundreds of years of friendship, trade and cooperation that we hope to continue for hundreds of years to come. We think in large, large numbers. The history of this magnificent building is written down for the first time in this beautiful reef book. By presenting this book to Dr. Mustafa Amin, I and the Netherlands uh, Embassy and the Sabir put up back to the uh, Supreme Council of Antiquities. But before I can do that, I have to express our warm thanks and gratitude for all those involved in the project. The Netherlands Spanish Institute in Cairo that instigated the project. Agnieszka de Brodowska and her team of professionals. The AUC Press that published the beautiful book and of course the Supreme Council of Antiquities for their cooperation.